zones that you can actually create around points, lines, or areas. In this case, we have points, the hospitals that we uh, were looking at before. And what we want to do is create a buffer around each one of these particular areas. There are a couple of ways of doing um, buffers in ArcGIS, in QGIS, sorry. Um, the uh, basic plugin that we use uh, for everything here is the, um, the one that gives us these tools right here. And when we create buffers here, it wants to use the units that are used in the projection. When we brought in the hospitals, we told it was latitude to longitude. So what we'll do is we'll create um, <coughs> buffers based on latitude longitude coordinates, which is not what we want. So the way we can do this is we can right mouse click on hospital list, save as, and then we can create a new shape file. We can browse where we want to store it, sure, uh, and give it a name of hospitals 10 TM. In this case, it's the same thing, but we're going to change here the coordinate system. So we're going to use the uh, project, is one it, it creates here the list of the recently used projections. So we can use the forest 10 TM and we can press OK and it will add it right there. Now if I turn this off nothing happens because these are um, on top of each other. If I turn this one off now it disappears. See so they're identical and because we had set the project properties here enable on the fly transformations it means that although these two have different uh, projections, they both show up uh, uh, properly. I can right mouse click on the one I don't want to use anymore, and I can just click right mouse click and press remove to get rid of it, and boom, it will disappear. Now I can click on the hospital's 10 TM, go to vector, and I can go to geoprocessing tools, buffer, and then I can set um, how I want to buffer these things. So I'm going to set at least 24 segments um, so that the circle looks a little more circular. If I have four segments, I have a, a square. If I have five segments, I have a, a five-sided polygon, etc. So 24 at least. Buffer distance will be in meters because 10 TM is a meters projection. So for example, I can say 20,000 meters will be a 20 kilometer buffer. If I had a field in the, my hospitals, which for each hospital type I wanted to use a different buffer size, I could use that in here and I can select that. I can have the option of dissolving the buffer result. Um, this is handy when I want to create a, um, areas where I, which we have, say for example, hospital coverage and we say that any areas, doesn't matter what hospital is covering it, as long as it's covered by one hospital, then it'll just show that it's covered or not covered. So we'll go with that option for right for this one. Uh, we'll press browse, and we'll put this into the appropriate directory that we want to use for this particular situation. Um, so I'm gonna put it in here, and I'm gonna call it hospitals buffer merged or something like that. Obviously a better name would be needed for the stuff you're doing. And um, press OK. And there we have the um, results. If I change this to be 30,000, so 30 kilometers, and change to not be dissolved, I can then create not uh, merged and press OK and we can see that these are individual circles so each hospital got a separate circle so we can turn these off and on and we can see the difference between this is uh, not merged so each you get a whole bunch of circles overlapping each other and here we get the circles merged where they actually overlap so both options are equally valid for different purposes. 
so that's basically how you do buffers doing buffers around lines or areas would be exactly the same thing instead of starting out with the hospitals as I said they're clicking here you would click on the area for example around lakes um, or around uh, large cities and then you can sort of buffer around those or around lines for example rivers or highways etc